Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be continuing with my minimalism series video and the next one I'm going to be showing you is my makeup desk, obviously, if you didn't get that from the intro. Now I know a lot of people who are right into minimalism don't wear makeup a lot of the time, they just seem to keep it really simple and you know powders and mascara and not much else from what I've read on their blogs and all that sort of thing. Um, but I like to wear makeup so I have to figure out how to store it and how to get rid of it when I have too much. Now recently I just did a little makeup cull where I got rid of some of the things that were old, some of the things I don't use anymore. I'll show you guys how I do that and then how I set up my storage, what I've been finding works best for me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel and give it a little thumbs up. It means so much to help get my channel out there. And let's jump into it. So I got these Tressa legs from Ikea and then this is just a flat wooden tabletop. You can get them from hardware stores. Uh, I don't want to make any mess on it, so I'm just going to put down some paper towel before I start sorting my makeup all over the desk. Now we're going to pull out everything. Um, a lot of you guys will probably own a lot more than I do. I try to keep everything a bit pared back. If you're a makeup junkie, this video is probably not for you. This is about reducing your collection. So just go ahead and chuck everything onto the desk. Now I have these containers on my desk as well. One for bobby pins and the other one is just for cotton pads. So if I find any bobby pins, I'm just going to chuck them into that container as well. And now I'm going to pull out all my brushes and just pop them into a storage container that I got from Ikea. The containers are just a couple of dollars. You need to make sure that you've got one that's tall enough for your brushes as well, otherwise you will squish them. Okay, now you can see I'm going through and sorting out what I want to keep and what I don't. I had three mascaras, two of them were old and nearly empty, so I just got rid of those. I do not want that crazy purple shimmery powder anymore, so getting rid of that. And you're just going to go through and figure out, will you wear things again? Uh, what are you going to wear them with? Like what, you know, what makeup look are you going to put that in? Are you ever actually going to use it again? And just go through there and figure out what you really, really need and what you don't. Now that little bag, I just keep all my utensils and tools in there, like tweezers and that sort of thing. Now we're going to ask yourself, is it usable? So has the product gone off? Do you feel attractive when you wear it? And can you use it regularly? If you bought something for a Halloween costume once, probably not a good idea to keep it. You don't need it. Now this is what I managed to reduce my makeup collection down to. And I'm just going to go through with some disinfectant and clean everything because for some reason my makeup always gets dirty. Is that just me or does that happen to everyone? I just There seems to be stuff always all over the containers. And look at that, that's my one lone nail polish. I have one nail polish colour. Oh, yeah, I hate painting my nails. And now I have another one of these round containers and I pop all my round things in there. So like powders and bronzers, that sort of thing. I always tried to put them in normal containers and I was like, hang on Rachel, they're round. Put them in a round container. I don't know why I didn't think of this until a couple of weeks ago, but you know what? We have it now. Feel free to steal that idea. And next up, these two containers that I'm using, they're also from Ikea, so you can get them in a bunch of different sizes. I just really needed one tall one and one slim one. And we're going to play Tetris. So you're going to start putting things in um, what you're not using as often, put it down the bottom. If you're using it pretty regularly, make sure it's standing up or it's in a reachable distance because otherwise you're just going to mess up the container all the time. I find it's really relaxing to do this as well, like pull everything out and just reorganize it. Okay, next up I'm just organizing everything on my desk, so hair products that I use regularly, I'm just going to pop them on my desk, so there's a lot of Tony and Guy things there, so hairspray, dry shampoo, all that sort of thing. Then I've got my little plant, and the candle holders here, they're from Freedom. The round mirror is from Kmart, and the mirror I'm putting up now is from Ikea. And that's it, it's all sorted. The little bag with my tweezers and scissors and things, that just sits under my desk, and we're done. cringing about how much makeup I got rid of and the small size I managed to get it down to but it just feels so much better 
Um, I find it really helps to only keep things that make you feel attractive and positive and just really good about yourself. That'll just make your day go easier, you'll feel a lot better inside and that'll help you think better and just, oh, it's refreshing. Just hold on to things that feel good for you to keep. And that's what I try to do all the time when I'm culling my possessions. It was so good to finally do that to my makeup, I haven't done that in a really long time. Anyway, I hope you were able to get something out of this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. This berry coconut oat parfait. So this one is overnight oats. You're going to grab a container because this is going to go into the fridge overnight.